hi all and welcome back to another video in today's video or we call it this tutorial we'll be exploring a new option that is integration hub for importing data via excel okay so most of the people uh, most of the people over here must be familiar about whenever it comes to import data okay we think of import set data load then import set then transform map once the transform map runs then we have to do the mapping on the transform map and so on okay but using integration hub this experience is pretty easy okay and uh, let's let's try to explore it out so the use case for today is like we will be importing a data from an excel okay to a csv user table so let's first try to see the count of csv user so if i go here and do the csv user dot list so we have currently how many users we have 620 users okay and on the 620 users if i start with the z okay so i don't have any users with us uh, whose initials are getting started with z okay so i have exported data i have created an excel okay if i go here and it's the csv user excel if i want to showcase and we will be importing the data using this excel okay so we have two user this two users okay and we'll be importing this data using integration hub so for people who think integration hub is difficult this is a tutorial for you so i go over here okay and now if i go to the home page okay let's try let's try the integration hub so i will type integration integration hub import so you can see this option so if i click on this option it will open a next experience okay and this is really beautiful hi system administrator if you are logged in as amit gujarati then it will show hi amit gujarati welcome to integration hub let's create a data import integration okay there is nothing right now okay because we are exploring this option for the first time so let's create a new integration so we will give the integration name so we'll give him port users let's give a short description okay import users from cell to says user table or something or you can define on your own factors okay then application is asking us to select the application let's keep it in the global application only and just go save and continue once you go on save and continue okay here you can see the guided setup okay so the first thing is source configuration the second one is map to target and the third is the schedule import so let's go with the source configuration so in the source type if we go we can see file and in file there is excel so in the future service now will be adding few more options to this okay but currently we have only excel options okay so let's continue to explore this option using excel only so i will just zoom out a little bit so it will now it ask you to upload file so let's upload the file so i will go i will go to the desktop i will go to this user excel boom so now the excel got imported okay now you can see the configuration with sheet number so if you have multiple sheets okay so you can define sheet numbers if you have headers defined at row number 2 3 4 so on. so you can define that configurations also here but for me it has a default configurations okay so i don't want to do anything now here you can see source data structure there is nothing over here right so what you have to do you have you can see this button load source data structure click on this so what this will do it will read through the entire excel and it will detect all the fields as a part of the excel okay so here you can see we have all the fields okay string 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 and it has read through all the fields okay which are the which are present on the excel sheet pretty amazing right so you don't have to create import sets and other things means you have there is in this also import sets are getting created if you have this question in your mind then how exactly it will happen so import set will definitely get created but it's not exposed to you it's encapsulated you can say so you don't have to worry about that so if you go here now we can see the source configuration step is completed 
now there is no next button this is pretty sad for me okay so you have to click manually on this map to target so in map to target you have to add a mapping okay so where exactly we have to map this data out so you can click on add mapping and you can type the target table over here so for us it will be says underscore user table because we want to add the data to this table not third table let's see user sorry my bad mm, sys user table where is sys user sys user sys user sys user here it is sys user table and now you can see the two check boxes okay there is a significance of the check boxes the first check box talks about front tables business rule by importing so what this does whenever we are importing the data what all will be the on before or on update as on before insert and after insert business rule whatever we have defined on the sys user table will get executed so there is a possibility that you have defined certain validation before importing the record so you can check this checkbox if you want to have some refined data do if you are doing some refining or in the business rule or you are performing certain action like for example if i want to talk about on after business rule that uh, if a user record is created you want to notify certain group out using notification then you can have this checked okay i'll uncheck it out let's move to the next one which is run the import synchronously so this is really dangerous option i don't prefer this so what how exactly it works whenever we import the data the data will not be so less okay so currently we are holding on two records but whenever we are importing data it will be in lakhs or it will lakhs and 10 lakhs right so we don't want to import this create the records synchronously okay because it will impact the performance of the system okay so every time whenever we are doing the batch activity it should be a synchronous one but in some cases we want the data to be a synchronous and not a asynchronous one okay synchronous means immediately okay then we can check the checkbox and then everything will happen synchronously okay so i will uncheck both the checkbox because i don't think it's of any use to me and i will save okay as soon as i save it out now what it started doing is like it started pulling the data from the source table which is the import table created at the back end the target table and now it's is it's if we click on this now we can see the mapping so here this is the part which i don't like about this okay so basically how exactly it used to work in the transform map we had a mapping assistant and once we click on the mapping assistant uh, it used to auto mapping um, map the fields out or there will be there, there used to be a slush bucket and we have to just map map the things okay using the slush buckets only right but here one advantage is like you can see the data type of the field on the target instance okay and how the mapping needs to be done so first of all if i want to uh, map name okay so how i used to do you have to drag and drop over here like this i really it should work like this only name okay in the similar way you can uh, map other fields okay without so i will map name i will map what what all else i want to map where is active 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 and over here where is active not avatar active so i will map active then what else when is updated so if i go here updated 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 i will not map all the fields okay i am just trying to map few fields so i don't see the system defined user id this is interesting field so where is user id oh this is really miss i don't i really don't like this So the first time I think I I selected something wrong. It should be this first time. Then 
but I was searching user ID. Where exactly it is? Come on, user ID. I got it. User ID over here. Where exactly the user ID over here? User ID. So I will map user ID. And here, some people will ask, okay, ki how the transform script takes place over here, and how exactly it works. So basically, you can see it's it's moving on to no code. Okay, low code or no code kind of things. So if you click on this function icon, so it gives you a lot of options over here. So for example, it's a string field. So they have two two transformations over here: string field and time data type field. And I really like this thing. So in string, I always face the issue that whenever I get a string in the Excel sheet, so it will have some white white space with it, right? So you can simply trim it out, okay, in order to remove the white spaces from there. So I have added the trim. So what it will do? It will remove the white spaces with uh, attached with the string. Okay. In the similar way, you can show the date date time field also. So for example, if I want to showcase, uh, let let's take some date time field. Which date time field I want to take? Oh my God, this really hectic. Service now should give some sorting orders for this. So that it will be pretty easy for us to map the fields out, but like this though. So for example, if you have certain date field, okay. So for example, if uh, this is this is already there. So for example, if 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 you have certain date field, then you have the date field. So for example, uh, this is the most convenient way. That uh, and I I faced this couple of times that in Excel sheet we are getting the data from another source, so that particular another source will be following some different data form date format, and we have to convert it internally to set it to our service now standard or service now format. So you can do this while using this particular property, but for now I will not explore this out. So I will have only these fields for now. In the similar way you can map other fields if you want. Okay, and I will save. So once this mapping is saved, okay, the next step is this is like you can consider relate this with the transform map mapping. Okay, so this is saved, and now you can see the checkbox. So map to target is also done. Now the third option is schedule import. So here you can run the import if you click on the run import, it will execute the entire. Transaction, okay, and it will go via the transform map or mapping things which we have created in the previous step, and it will go through it, okay, and import the data to the system, or you can schedule it out also. How to schedule it out? So you can see the schedule and import option. So if I click on this, I can define the schedule name, okay, and data source, when exactly I want to run periodically, and all the things of the schedule import, okay. Pretty, pretty, pretty convincing for me. Okay. I will not explain this option, but if you want to schedule Im data import from Excel, so you can do it via this. Okay. So for now, we'll be running an import. So before that, we'll check the user count. So we have how many users? Two. We have 620 users. So. If we'll be importing two users out if I do run import. So now it's importing, okay? So you can see the run import is submitted successfully, and the execution is going on. I think so. So execution is going on, and here you can see the refresh list button. So now if I refresh the list out, I can see my execution over here. So if I click on the execution summary, okay? If I open this out. So what I can see, two rows imported. Pretty amazing, right? This looks really good. You can see how much time load time it required. What is the status? Import time updated. Okay, how many got skipped? How many got pending? Two rows got imported. Okay, how many got processed? If there is any error, that thing. Each and every minor detail you will get over here. Okay, if there are some import logs, import errors, you can find everything at one place. Okay, 
but for us i think everything is successful okay for now let's try to verify the same oh yeah so it's 620 if i refresh it out so now it's 622 and if i just to verify it if i type z so you can see the two users which we have imported got imported in the system isn't it amazing i hope service now will give this provision just like a data source okay to import the data not from the excel but from other things also like excel csv then data sources then from from https sources okay all the things in the future okay because i really like this thing okay so this is all for today's tutorial hope you really like this out the uh, integration data import using integration hub okay and you will stop using the conventional method which we are using using the transform map and all so this is all for today's tutorial hope you like this thing okay hope you like the integration hub hope you will upgrade you to use us uh, to, to start using the integration hub okay after seeing this video and thank you for watching this out please like follow subscribe to my channel to get the latest update on my upcoming videos until then stay safe stay happy and have a nice day thank you